Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Agito Live video, this time another Honkai Star Rail account review, the second uh, of its kind. This time we're going to be re reviewing Bill's account or Significant Sad in the chat. Long time viewer, uh, I've reviewed his Agilent account uh, before. I don't think I have a YouTube video of his, no he doesn't play Agilent, no he does play Agilent. I don't, I don't think I have a YouTube video of his account on Agilent though, now that I think about it. It's been it's been a, it's been a hot minute since uh, I reviewed uh, reviewed Bill. So, but we're gonna be um, we're gonna be looking at his account. Uh, want some help with uh, the usual character builds, things along those lines. We'll look over all the stuff that he has. I believe Bill's been playing since day one. I think that's a lot of players that I'm gonna be reviewing. Uh, going forward is a lot of people have been playing basically since day one and it'll probably be very rare that I find a player that has not been playing since day one uh, Though I have uh, another person in the in the in the lineup who did just recently start within like this last month So that will be uh, Fun yep been playing since minute one awesome, and you are a whale a dolphin or a, or a light spender like what do you what do you got? Who could that possibly be? I don't know, Ken. I don't know. Who could that possibly be? Whoever could that be who just started playing the game within the last month? That's crazy. Light Spender to Dolphin? Okay. Okay. Well, let's look what we got here. We got Stella. The, uh, in my opinion, uh, inferior version of the Trailblazer. Though, I will say this. She has the better voice. Let's just, let's just be honest. She has the better voice. She has the better voice. So he hadn't logged in yet today, so we're gonna click through some of his uh, little red things here. See what's going on. Already level seventy. I uh, got Nana is the best up here. Um, let's see what his helper character is. Helper character is support character is Jingliu. Okay, Kafka, Ronme, Jingliu. Okay, three hundred fifty-eight achievements unlock equal to seven. Awesome, cool, fantastic. Um. All the current phone wallpapers unlocked. Just gonna redo your assignments that you already have, so they get running. Uh, I'm gonna click red things because I, I, it, it'll bother me if I don't. It'll bother me if I don't. I'll be constantly trying to click them later, so let's just go ahead and click them now, right? Let's just get this out of the way. There you go. Gotta clean up the red stuff. Gotta clean up the red stuff. You got messages? No. No messages. Just, alright. You got all the... All the chat box stuff. Awesome. Okay. And... Two dailies done for that. Awesome. Alright. So that's most of the red stuff that I can click at the moment. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go into the data bank. Let's see what characters you have. So, you have all of the destruction characters except Clara. We've got Blade, Jing Liu, Imbiber Lune, Arlan, Hook, and Zhu Yi. Uh, on the hunt path, everybody but Topaz. I also skipped Topaz. Um, I don't really, I don't regret it, but I will say this after doing Nana's Nana's account review. Um, I like Topaz. I liked, I liked the way she played with Himiko, which was kind of fun, so... On the erudition path, wow, skipped both Jing Yuan and Argenti. Didn't didn't fall into King Yuan and decided to ignore Argenti. The question is, I didn't skip them, I failed the 50-50. Oh, okay. So wait, you missed a 50-50 for Topaz. And you miss the 50-50s for Jing Yuan and Argenti. Daddy's avoiding me. Well, I mean, hey, not everybody is a is a is a mommy or daddy magnet. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Skip Topaz. Okay, you skip Topaz, but you miss Jing Yuan and Argenti. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, got all the harmony characters. Good. This is good. Nihility, you haven't pulled well yet, and you don't ha you didn't get any copies of Gwen Ifen. Wow. Not a single copy of Gwen Ifen. Wow. 
That's crazy. Preservation, no Fu Shuan. Okay. What happened just didn't want to appear, okay? And uh, did you skip Fushuan or did you miss that 50-50? I feel like you missed that 50-50. I feel like this is another fail 50-50. Damn. And then all the Abundance characters. Cool. Awesome. To Japard. Okay. Well, I can't wait to see... With all these 50-50 losses, I can't wait to see which uh, which of the standard better characters you, uh, you've you E7'd. <laughs> looking, looking real good. Okay. And then Light Cones. Let's see. Uh, it looks like you haven't been pulling on the light comb banner. No. No pulls on the light comb banner. Yeah. Lots of the standard light cones, which is which is good. Um, and then yeah. Which of the battle pass ones have you been getting? Ever have you not been getting the battle pass? Hold up. You haven't been getting the battle pass, I see. Never pulled for light cones. Do you have the battle pass? You've never you've never bought the battle pass. Wow, that's crazy. Light spender to dolphin, but has never bought the battle pass? That's actually kinda crazy. That's like one of the biggest bangs for buck. That's actually crazy. This is like the biggest bang for buck in the game, to be honest. That's kinda crazy to me. That's kind of crazy. All right, let's see. You have finished up most of the events completely that are here. Uh, you still got to finish Boulder Town League and Tales of Fantastic. Yes. Yes, Ken. Yes. So, so... When it comes to the battle pass in this game, so like just look at like just looking at it, you can already see like the difference, right? So on on the basic path, you're getting, you know, six blue experience pa points, right? You're getting six purples here, just in the first one, right? That's sixty trailblaze power worth just in the first level, okay? Because remember, you only get one of these for every ten trailblaze power when you are going for them. Right? So you were already getting 60 here, 120 here. Like you, you just remember that the, the it amplifies. Plus you're getting pulls, you're getting relic materials, you're getting trace materials. You're eventually getting uh, universal trace materials. You're getting more pulls. You're getting, this is 120 trailblaze power at just 24, okay? The amount of credits and character experiences that you get from the battle pass is absolutely nuts. And it is, it, Frankly, it is 100% pay to win. Like you, it solves a lot of problems that a lot of players, like a lot of free to player players, will end up having, where you don't have enough resources to level the characters you really want to level, basically. So, yeah. Um, so like in total, like if you were to purchase it all, this is all the stuff you get, right? Going all the way up from the level you're currently at. It's a lot. And that's this is on the base path. This isn't actually. I just realized this is just the base path because it's not showing the uh, the the secondary side. This is just what you get on the base, right? I just realized that I'd have to show it on my account because it's not going to show. It won't show what's here unless you have it unlocked. So never mind. Yeah, it's not really about the pulls. It's mostly about the these the materials. This is tw this is two hundred and four. This is a day's worth of Trailblaze power just in in a slot. So and that adds up. So we're talking. We're talking a lot. We're talking a lot of material. So if you, so for anybody watching this on YouTube, if you are a low spender, or or just someone who wants to spend a little bit of money on the game, buying the buying the uh, the first level of the pass, the Nameless Glory, you don't even have to buy the the extra, all the extra, right? You you don't you, to get all this extra stuff here, which is this is good stuff too. I mean, right? This is an extra eight hundred uh, stellar day, but you really only need to do this one, and you'll get all all of this extra stuff. Okay, and it is definitely worth it. It is definitely worth it. Like if you if you're like one of those people who's like I I kind of want to support the game, but I don't want to be spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Then you know, buy either the daily pass and the battle pass, and you're good. Like that's that's really all you need to be like just get that little extra edge. And yes, the game is designed that way. Like it's unfortunate, but the game is designed that way. 
So, not that the base pass is not good. It's just the battle, like buying the extra path, is really good. Especially now that they've added the extra, what is it, 20 levels on here. So, there's like a shit ton more credits. Uh, there's another self modeling resin now. Uh, yeah. So, and on top of that, uh, the light cones, right? The light cones, now the light cones are kind of eh, right? None of them are like super good. I actually appreciate that none of them are like super meta because in, 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 in Genshin it's a little different. This is probably like the best one followed probably by this one and then the others are kind of like whatever, right? So if you, if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're considering getting the battle pass and you just want to know whether or not it's worth it, I, I a hundred cents stand by it because, uh, it has allowed me to both fix characters when I've, when I've like leveled up a character wrong. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta level up this other character. It's allowed me to stock up on materials. And after six months of buying it, you know, every time it's come out, I have now, like I could probably stop for a while buying it if I wanted to, because I've got so much materials like stacked up. Right. But I'm not going to, because it's better to have more materials so that when shit hits the fan, I can like, oh, I want to load this character now kind of thing. So anyways, uh, what was it looking at? Uh, we're looking at your light cones. You didn't have any of the light cones. Cool. Awesome. Let's go into your characters. Let's see what we got here. Let's see which characters are level 80. Ooh. I see a lot of 70 out of 80, 70 out of 70. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, fuck Yanjing. <laughs> Uh, screw that character. Uh, too many times losing 50-50s to him. Uh, so Kafka, Blade, Ronme, Hua Locha, Himiko, Sila, uh, Daniel Five Star, Jing Liu, and Bronya almost there. Uh, your main character, 70 out of 80, Japard, 70 out of 80, Silver Wolf, 70 out of 80, and that's where we stop right there. Cool. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 characters or so at level, at the 70 to 80 break point. Now, I'll repeat this again. Remember uh, that getting a character from 70 to 80 takes the same amount of experience books as it does getting a character from 1 to 70. So taking a character to 80 is a pretty big deal. And mind you, uh, it goes back to the uh, the battle pass thing a little bit. There is the the the, the the experience that you're getting in there, right? Like the extra you get in there is basically the answer to that problem of 70 to 80. Mm. Straight out. Mm -hmm. So. I have books if you want to level up anyone. Ruin may kind of ruin my resources though. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, stop at last ascension level, level 70. Frankly, what you should do is this. Like you should, you should ascend them. You should ascend them 70 out of 80 and then just leave them there because the, 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 the trail base power to get, get like, get the materials isn't really that much, right? And then they'll, like, casually level up as you, like, play with them in other content. Um, but really good characters, you should take all the way to 80 because you want you want their top traces, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you have a character you're using all, all the time but is not, like, super, super worth the investment or whatever, I guess you could say, uh, 70 out of 80 is fine. Like, it's serviceable. But, like, your main DPS, you're going to want, like, your, your Kafkas, your Daniels. You're going to want 80 out of 80 because you want these top traces. Yes, and damage. Yes, level difference also calculates into damage difference. You take more damage and you do more damage based on your level difference. Yes. So. Which is why endgame bosses, like the really endgame, I think MOC 12 is like level 92 enemies, right? So it's a 12 level difference. So, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty key. If you're level seventy going get level ninety two bosses and stuff, you're you're it's gonna hurt. Unless you're in the simulated universe, because then you can. There's so many there's so many other factors that play into the simulated universe. Simulated universe can be cleared with like level 50, 60 characters, like all of it. I'm not so sure about swarm disaster or gear of gold, but that just takes more work, right? Basically, it just takes a little bit more work, more effort. So, all right. 
let's go ahead and uh, so he wants to work on blade himiko and silver wolf my next question before i go to over that is what what do you think is your most well-built characters like give me your your three or so most built characters actually you know what screw it let's just go let's go through it so we got we got kafka here kafka here with 127 speed a little bit under the speed that she wants but a decent amount of attack a good amount of break effect, that's really good. Uh, a little bit too much effect hit rate. But not bad. If you're running her on Fermata. She doesn't have max speed boots yet? Okay. Running her on Fermata, which is probably her best outside of... Mm, well, honestly, uh, Good Night Sleep Well is a lot better for her just for pure damage. Fermata is nice. Like the break effect and everything along those lines and the extra dot damage. And it being S5, right? Plus it's her face on it, so. Yeah, exactly. Until um, until this is, I think, S3, I'm pretty sure Fermata does more. So that's not bad. Traces, 10, 10, 8, and 2. Uh, we talked about this in the last review. Realistically, there's no reason to level up uh, her basic attacks at all. You really want to get these uh, these last traces. Sorry, wait a second. Ah. So you get more, yeah. Uh, survivability and the effect hit rate. That way you can don't need it on her uh, relic. And then maxing this out isn't like a terrible idea, but it's not really necessary. At eight, eight out of ten is fine. I said this before, but. Your DPS characters, sometimes you'll want to 10 out of 10 them, but 8 out of 10 is fine as well. So, Focusing on other characters, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And then let's go ahead and look at these relics. Um, Okay, this is pretty good. That's a lot of attack. A little bit of effect hit rate. And some dead rolls on HP and defense percent. Okay. Let's go ahead and compare it to your other pieces that you have in the set. Just kind of curious. Okay, yeah. Because here's the thing. Come on, they're not dead. Some survivability is good. Uh, no, they're dead. They're dead. I mean, survivability is good, but they're dead stats. Like, like let's not let's be let's be totally real here. They are dead stats. She is a DPS, and um, they're dead stats. Um, I would say you actually could change this piece for a different piece if you had another attack percent, possibly with speed. Uh, simply because you're already above your effect hit rate cap, or your uh, your your required effect hit rate for Kafka. You only need twenty eight percent for Kafka. Roughly, if I remember correctly. So technically this piece can be uh, changed. But it looks like you don't have a lot of a crit, or you don't have a lot of attack percent pieces. Not crit, attack percent. See, this has defense percent, speed, and effect res. So this, if this rolled attack percent, this would actually be better because the defense percent is good, the effect res is good, and the speed is good, right? Kafka go boo. Like go burr, right? You want you want you want Kafka to just go fast, right? Um Okay. Yeah, unfortunately not. Nothing nothing any better. Unless you're trying to build Kritka, nothing any really that better. Uh, she does have max speed boots. You were you were wrong. She does actually have max speed boots. I don't know what you're... 25? Right. Um, I... Uh, nope. There's HP, defense, 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 defense. Yeah, game has been nasty. Yeah, unfortunately, relics... You know, there's not much we can really do about relics. You know, relic is relic luck, right? It's just, do you have a better option currently? And not, not really, right? You don't really have anything with crit, with attack percent. Um, that is unfortunate. You'd really want attack. You want speed boots with like attack percent and a break effect or something like that. But keep in mind that you have reached a point. Um, 
since I swapped the, to this set for her, it hasn't been that good. Fair enough. It is her best set. Like, defense down is not a joke. However, if your lightning set is better, remember, sta uh, stats, you know, individual stats over sets, right? Individual stats over sets. In, in this scenario, though, something to keep in mind is you still have a trace here that gives her 8% more effect hit rate. And you are sitting on 37 effect hit rate. You actually can lose some effect hit rate. So in your in your in your kit here, in your relics, keep in mind that you could actually drop some effect hit rate. So uh, this lightning orb is sad. It's kind of it's kind of sad. It's kind of a sad orb. Um, it's not terrible, but it's kind of sad. It's kind of a sad orb. It's not terrible. It's just kind of sad. What you really want is the new set because she can hit it like this one. Effect hit rate. Uh, survivability with HP. Effect res. Lightning. Crit rate. If you're trying to build Critco, these would be great. Man, Critco would love some of these. Not that I recommend building Critco. It's, just, it's more of a meme. Um... Um, okay, this is going to sound real weird, but this piece is better. <laughs> so, 12 speed rolls, I would be running this piece over this piece simply because I don't need this effect hit rate, and losing 18% break effect for 10 speed is pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts. I I would probably use this. I would probably use this piece. That's an insane amount of speed. Uh, yeah. And... Like, if you switch this, let me switch it real quick. That brings her up to 137, which is like the speed, the speed, like her, it's just above the speed break point, right? The first speed break point, which is what you want for Kafka. You want her to go fast. I, I think losing that little bit of break effect will not, will not hurt you in the long run. I think the speed would actually help you more, um, overall. I think the speed will help you more, especially if you're going to be staying on, uh, this orb set for the time being, which you probably will be. So, yeah. She doesn't lose any attack from it because it's just a it's just a one to one, so it, it works out. So okay. Oh yeah, don't get here's the thing. Don't get rid so if you're playing the game, not just for Bill, but anybody playing the game, if you have a piece that you replace, don't get rid of the old piece unless it's actually like garbage. Keep the old piece, because there will always be a character that might want that other piece. Right? There will always be a character that might want that piece. If you're going to get rid of it, save it for a rainy day to put into a legendary piece. A piece that's absolutely fucking perfect. Otherwise, just save it for a rainy day. Alright. Cool. Alright, let's look at your blade. Oof. This is, this is kind of a sad... This is a kind of a sad stat blade, not going to lie. Not going not gonna to lie, this is kind of a sad stat blade. 62, 116. Oof. This is a... This is a it's a sad, sad stat blade. Secret vow. It's his bis without his signature, so works out. Please help me with this. Okay. This is good. This is good. I I would um I would max out his basic attack. So 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 first off, his light cone, this light cone, this is his bis light cone. Um when you don't have any others, and you have two more copies of Secret Vow, so you can actually S five this, which I would recommend S fiving this, uh, because it's 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 so much better at S five. Obviously, you you'll get the full the full percentages of the damage. So I'm kind of saving them. Isn't that better? Nah, nah. Who else is going to use it? Like, be perfectly honest with yourself. Who else is going to really use it at the moment? Like, 
here's the thing with light cones, especially four star light cones, you want them at higher in positions. Like they're just, they're not going to do their job at lower in positions. Right? And like the stat comparison from an S1 to an S5, you, you, you want to S5 them. You want to S5 them because here's the thing. You can always move the light cone around. There is very rarely going to be a scenario where you are using both of the characters who will need that light cone, right? Because you have other options. Like you have, you also have under the blue sky, right? Which you could S3, right? You want that extra crit. You want that extra attack percent. Uh, you want that extra percentage. And if you're, and you're investing vertically rather than wide is basically the, uh, the thing I prop uh, propose. So do it S5 it. No, 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 nope. You, you got to do it yourself. I, this is my recommendation. I will not do things like that on people's accounts because it is your account. I will give you my recommendation and you can decide if you want to do it or not. You don't have to listen to me, but you can. I don't want anybody to think I bullied them into doing anything. So if they want to do something, they got to click it themselves. Um, it's like I said, okay, moving on to his traces. I would take his basic attack up to six out of six and then you can leave everything else eight out of eight. That's totally fine. But just to get the most damage out of his basic attack, enhanced basic attack. Um, those extra stats are free and I'm not getting them. Yeah, yeah, correct. Um, obviously you want to finish off this trace, right? You definitely want to get this crit rate. You definitely want this HP. This is, you're just missing damage from him here. And the effect res is obviously always good. So yeah, I would, I would clean that up. And then let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and look at these relics. I don't, there's only one set for blade. Let's be perfectly honest here. There's literally only one set for blade. That's the HP set. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, look at what you got. Ouch. Unfortunate. Hey, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I mean, it's got, I think, one roll in defense and then like two rolls in crit rate and one roll crit damage, two low rolls in speed. Yeah, it'll, this is... It could be a lot better, but it's not terrible. That's probably your best piece right now on him. It's a little sad, but it's still your best piece on him. Um, this is kind of unfortunate. This is kind of unfortunate. Uh, you definitely want to run a crit damage, crit rate piece on his, on his chest piece, I think. But you just haven't got one yet, right? But the, I mean, this is still damage percent. This is actually, actually, you not know, take that back. This is actually not terrible, but the flat HP kind of, like, I know he scales on HP, but the flat HP is rough, right? That's just kind of, that's that sucks, right? You would have wanted crit, dam crit damage on this for sure. For sure. The flat HP rolls kind of hurt. So, but just just try to get a crit damage one, you know, get a little lucky. Uh, you're running slow blade, which is fine. Nothing wrong with slow blade, especially when your speed boots look like this. Damn, you got some good attack percent ones, though. If only. These might be good. If you had Clara, these would be pretty good on Clara. Like this one would be good on Clara. Even this one would be good on Clara. If only. If only you had Clara. If only you had Clara. So. Yeah. Yeah. Slow blade. <laughs> Slow blade is not terrible. Close to 300 on standard, 291 currently. Okay. Um, damn. Yo. Yo, this orb is really good. This orb is basically perfect. Yeah, it would be nice if this HP was like in the crit damage maybe, right? But at the same time, it's still more damage, so... You wouldn't be. I'm not. I wouldn't be mad about this piece. It it missed attack percent entirely, which is good. Um, and then rolled mostly an HP percent and crit damage between the two. So this is actually a cracked piece. I like this piece. This is a good piece. 
It's a good piece. I don't think you. I don't think you really do. It would be hot. You'd be hard pressed to get a better piece than this over time, basically. Damn. You'd be hard pressed to get. You've got some good luck here on some of these pieces. Holy shit! Look at this. Look at this Daniel piece. What the f is this? Attack percent, crit rate, crit damage, imaginary. I can't even. I can't get one of these to save my life. So. Could be better though. Yeah, could be better. And I, you could always like. Here's the thing with relics, they can always be better. The chances of you getting the better after a certain point is very minimal, though. If I was you, I'd see if this rolls crit damage. If I was you, I'd I'd, I'd check to see if this rolls some crit damage. Damn. Never mind. Never mind. If you rolled crit damage, it would have been it would have been like fantastic. Rip. All right. Never mind. Because if it had rolled crit damage, it immediately would have been a better piece. Immediately. One hundred percent. All right. Uh. But okay. So there's really no. There's nothing really to fix. You just have some really unfortunate rolls, and you just need to keep grinding for more pieces with crit damage. What you really need, in my opinion is because you get so much crit so here's the thing because you get so much crit rate from rudolent arena and this you get 16 crit rate from this uh, you really want a crit damage crit rate uh chest piece right so i see all the blades having eight to nine khp though how do they do it so they do it by one not having a wind orb that is this good. They usually have an HP percent. Most blades run, I think, an HP percent orb because they cannot get a wind orb that is this good. Like straight out. Um and then they have more HP percent rolls on like like you have no HP percent roll here, right? Um and then your HP percent roll here is low. You're also missing an HP trace here, another 8% HP from here, right? So that's that's probably why you're missing some HP. You also don't have a max light cone, which would give you another, like, I don't know, I think another 100 HP, which when multiplied will probably get you over that 7,000. Right, when percentaged out. So that's that's why your HP is lower at the moment. For sure. And then your Rod May, 141 speed, good. Break effect 180, good. So here's the thing. Um, you actually don't need her at 180, like right off the back, because her trace gives her 20, and that's not reflected on the sheet when you're not in combat. So you actually only need 160. For like the minimums, right? I mean, you can have more than that. It's like it's going to benefit you, but just something to keep in mind is that um, you actually only technically need 160. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just something to think about. Um, you're maxing out her traces. This is good. This is this is good. Good traces. Your traces look a lot better. Um, I don't know about this. Um. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Uh, this is not enough. Uh, if you're trying to go for a three-turn ultimate, you definitely want Meshing Cogs instead. S5. S3 is fine. Like it'll, it'll work. It's fine. It, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. It's fine. It's enough that if you get if you attack a couple extra times, you'll be fine. If you get hit a couple times, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. It's fine. I would level it up completely to 80, though, for just the raw stats. So, And you are running Hoa Hoa with her, so yeah, it's fine. Let's look at the relics themselves. Good break effect, good effect res, no defensive stats. Speed, break effect, no defensive stats. Defense percent with break effect, effect res, and then no defensive stats here. Speed boots with break effect. Damn, this is a good roll. Uh, one defensive stat, no defensive stats. 
Uh, HP. Oh, you're also running energy recharge here too as well. So HP, defense, speed. This is good. Energy recharge rope. HP percent effect, res break effect. Good set. Yeah, no, her relics are... Her relics are pretty good. Yeah, no, she's uh, she's set to go. She is definitely set to go with uh, 3,500 HP, 13 or 1,400 defense. This is pretty good. This is this is good. This is a, this is a good Ron May. This is a good Ron and 37 percent, 7 percent effect rate is good. Warp could be better. Honestly, with HP percent, defense percent, speed, only thing you're really missing is like more break effect. And honestly, you're already at the soft cap, so. You know, anything is just more, more icing at that point, right? More icing. It's fine. No, it's good. It's good. I like this. All right. Uh, ho -ho. uh, definitely needs more speed. Has a shit ton of HP. Holy shit, that's a lot of HP. Good amount of effect res. Energy regen. Running the Bailu light cone, which isn't terrible. You didn't go for speed boots on her. Why? Wow. Uh, crit stats with the outgoing HP percent effect growth. Okay, not bad. Because uh, max healing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't uh -huh. don't don't pime on me. Uh, okay, this is actually really good. HP percent, defense percent, uh, effect res. This is actually a really good defensive piece. Uh, HP percent speed. This is a really good piece as well. At least two stats that are relevant. Uh, more speed will be nice. Uh, at least two stats that are relevant. So with with the main stat, that's three stats in total. That's good. HP percent boots. I'd ra rather be running speed boots. Uh, but still, with defense percent and speed, not bad. Orb. HP percent speed. Good. More speed again. Effect res and a little bit of break effect. Uh, the effect res and speed are obviously really good on this. Uh, energy recharge rope. Yep. Ooh, this is... I mean, when it comes to energy recharge ropes, as long as the energy recharge rope is an energy recharge rope, the best of the stats, frankly, honestly, don't matter. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. I I have yet to pull an energy recharge rate rope for this set on my main account since that world has come out. I think I have, actually, I think I have one. I think I made it, though. You crafted it? Yeah. I. It's... I have not. I don't think it exists. I don't think it naturally exists in the wild. I've never gotten one. So, yeah, uh, I made it and didn't turn out that great. Yep, unfortunate. Still not bad. Not bad. Okay. And then the characters you wanted to look at are Blade, Himiko, Silverwolf. So let's go ahead and look at Himiko now, real quick. Let's look at this. Himiko. You got 123 speed. Again, speed a little... Eh, speed 120 spot. So, like, if you're going for, like, you know, good cycle clears and MOC, you want that 134. But otherwise, 120 speed is, like, your standard speed desirables. Um... All right, you've got, again, you're building wide again. You could have this at S4 or S5, basically. However, this light cone is also really good. So either one, but since you can S5 this one, it's, you know, really good. I would definitely consider doing that. Yeah. I would definitely, I would definitely take these two and throw them into this one, and see if you can go get another copy and S five it, for sure. Because that is, this is more or less her best in slot outside of her five star light cone and the five star your five star options. So, like Genius Repose is nice, but uh, this will just end up working mostly because you can S five it; it'll end up working out better for you. Traces. Uh, obviously, she does not need her basic attacks leveled. Getting all all three of her main other traces uh, to eight out of ten is your goal. Obviously, you want all these attack percents. 
Uh, you could, realistically, you could probably ignore the effect reses, but they'll be nice just because you don't want your DPS to get crowd controlled, right? You don't want your DPS to get CC'd, that way they can keep dishing out damage. So, But they are lower priority in terms of the, the damage output, right? Basic attack is unnecessary. Something to keep in mind also is she gets, right, from this trace, as long as she has 80% health or higher, she has 15% more crit, which is not reflected in these stats. So she's actually sitting at 57, 62% uh, crit rate? No, that's 47, 52% crit rate. Sorry, my bad. 52% crit rate here. So that's actually really, really good. You know, 50% chance to crit is, is good. Let's look at a relics. So... You have been farming the dot set. Um, what you really want is this set on her. So let's see what what you got here. Attack percent speed crit damage. This piece is really good and would be very hard to replace. I see that already. However, if I'm being honest, I feel like this might be slightly better just because of the crit rate. But this is very good. This is a very good piece. That's a lot of attack percent and that's a decent amount of crit damage with speed. But this is a better set for her. Wait, really? Yes. One for one for ratio. I don't know if it's going to be ratio's best set. Ratio is probably going to want um, the imaginary set. To be honest with you, with ratio, you're probably going to want the imaginary set. Really? Yes, because he wants he wants debuffs on the enemy, and one of the biggest debuffs, obviously, is the imaginary break, which gives you all that extra crit rate and crit damage. So you're probably going to want the imaginary set on him. I have to look into it some more. Don't quote me on that yet, but I'm pretty sure. It depends on how often he can actually follow, benefit from the follow-up attacks of this. But we'll see. We'll see. I also think it'll depend on like the team copy running. Anyways, uh, yeah, the rest of these pieces are kind of like, okay. But yeah, this one might be better. And then, wow, this is a really good piece too. Wow, this is a really good piece. So is this one. Yeah. All right, where are you missing stats? Because I feel like her stats are kind of low. It's like you're missing a lot of crit rate. That's what it's looking like here. Yeah. Her attack is real low. Damn. Okay, so the reason her attack is so low. So you can keep her on the set. The set, the pieces you have for this set are really good. However, the primary reason her attack is so low is this is the only piece with attack percent, right? Uh, or no, it's not. This has attack percent too. Wait, what the fuck? This doesn't have any attack percents. This doesn't have any attack percents. This has a little bit of attack percent. These are these. This, this orb set is not the greatest. Uh, lots of like, just not recent. Yeah, the body is lacking. You definitely need some attack on here. Yeah, I don't know why her attack is so low. Outside of well, you are running a four star light cone. It's not. It's not max level, so that also hurts your attack stat. You're probably missing about you know, a hundred then you know percentaged up attack stats from that. So you're probably missing like two to three hundred attack percent or attack from other sources and then having no attack percent here uh, on your on your chest piece yeah and then no attack percent here yeah it's because of the you know you don't have any attack percent on these two pieces basically no attack percent here on these two pieces you're missing uh, six percent attack here. You're missing eight percent attack here. 
and you're missing probably about another 100 or so attack from here. So we're talking, that's probably why she's only at 24. You're probably missing about 500 attack at the moment. That's probably why you're missing the attack. That would answer the question. I would say this is why. You'll fix it, you'll fix it. Will you though? I don't know. All right, um, Silver Wolf. Silver Wolf, Silver Wolf, Silver Wolf, Silver Wolf. So here's the question. No Eidolons. I will cut his mommy, fair enough. 70 out of 80. Oof. You're missing a lot of traces here. 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10. So I've said this before in, in, uh, in the past review and before on stream. Honestly, 8 out of 10 is fine. The amount of resources it takes to go from 9 to 10 is just, it's just too much. It's really, it's not worth it. You are better off spending your Trailblaze power in other scenarios like finishing out the other traces in the kit. Right? That's generally, generally what I go. Realistically, taking a character all the way to 10 is just, it's luxury. It's a luxury. It's just, it's a luxury. I wouldn't I wouldn't indulge generally speaking I would eight eight out of ten at most ten out of ten if it's a big DPS character or there's a core stat like her passive or something along those lines they're mostly damage stuff and she's not for damage that's mainly why I worked on her talent stuff well here's the thing her talent stuff is also mostly like like this talent so the skill for the alt type is as like that's fine because you're trying to get the, the all type res up. Res up. You're trying to get these up, the defense down. So I, I get it. However, you're missing effect right here, and you're missing effect right here. I get why maybe you don't want these, but you do want this, and you do want this. Free stat. Free stat. I explained this before, right? On relics, you have to gamble for these stats. No, 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 no. She already has a lot of effect. I don't care. On relics, you have to gamble for these stats. What you want is you want the free stat here so that on your relics, you don't have to worry about it. Ninety-eight percent effect rate. So she's at the effect rate rate cap that she wants. Then you're actually already there. Then well. No, because at 8 out of 10, I think you need 106. Yeah, I think it's 8 out of 10, you need 106. So if you are going to 10 out of 10, you're fine. And you spent the body for it? Okay, well, damn. All right, let's look at these. This is... If you're not going for damage, what are you going for then on her? Because something to understand is there are like... There are like two to three builds for Silver Wolf. I don't know yet. I need advice. Well, I'm giving you advice. My advice is that you decide what build you want to go for. So the, the biggest decision is like, do you want to make sure that she's guaranteeing her dots all the time? Like debuffing all the time? Or do you want to do like a break effect build? You can technically do both. It's really not one or the other, but the best way for Silver Wolf to provide for the team is to apply debuffs and break the enemy. That's basically the best thing to do. So basically, you want more break effect. 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 And you want break. Yeah, you don't have enough break effect to want. So what do you need? You need break effect. That's what you need. What you need is break effect. You need to swap this out for a break effect. You need to get speed boost with break effect. You need to get a chest piece with break effect. Effect hit rate and break effect, obviously. You need to get gloves with break effect. And you need to either get better helmet with break effect. I need that much. Yeah, no. So when you're building when you're building for break effect, it's like elemental mastery, Bill. 
when you're building for elemental mastery you stack elemental mastery right like in genshin if you if you want a character to do elemental mastery things you stack it to about a thousand right it's the same thing with break effect if you want a character to do break effect things you stack it to like as high as you possibly can And here's the other thing, um, you want Silver Wolf to go first. So the other thing you need is speed because you want Silver Wolf to go first, especially in future Mono Quantum or literally any team where she's supposed to be applying, applying the element is you want her to go first. That way the element gets applied to the enemy as soon as possible so that she or others can break, right? The best way to do that is to actually run her with the sprightly von wax set because then you don't actually need a lot of speed necessarily um you just need like enough so that when she gets the action forward she goes first in the fight so like my silver wolf i currently run with sprightly von wax i think not on my main but i want my alts uh because I like I like for her to you know be able to put the the the, the weakness implant. Hello, Farolina. Welcome back to the stream. Weakness implant as soon as possible. On this effect hit rate though, well that's again. Then you need effect hit rate in your substats more as well. Then, like here's the thing: Silver Wolf is not like a like not an easy character to build. She requires a lot of stats in order to be her most effective. So you either have to make a sacrifice somewhere else. And that's basically where you're at. Easy effect hit rate is where you're making the sacrifice. And these are just options. I thought, I thought she was easy build. She is if you're... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, not lucky. That's not the word I'm looking for. Uh... I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for. A whale? No, I whale, but my silver wolf is like still. I have to get lucky on my relics. Just because I whale doesn't mean I have like immediately better relics. And by paying money doesn't mean my relics are just better than yours. You know what I mean? I still get shit luck sometimes. Plus, most of my whaling is for characters, not relics. People don't seem to understand that. Is that? Um, unless you spend Stellar Jade to do more rolls, to do more stuff, which I do occasionally do, the difference between a Wells Relics and a, uh, a regular player's Relics is there's no difference. There's literally no difference other out, outside, unless they actually spend money on more, uh, more chances. That's the only, that's the only, that's the only time there's a difference. Otherwise there's literally no difference. My 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 issue right now is that I'm 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 telling you what you should do and every time I tell you something that you should do you're like well I could do this instead or I'm losing this or I'm losing that. Yes. But I don't have a response for that then. You have to make a choice. We we we've, we've, we've discussed this. We've had this conversation before. If you're asking for advice and I give you advice and your response is, "Well, actually this," then why did you ask for my advice in the first place? That's that's my point. All right? This is my recommendation. If you want to go a break effect build, you need to get more break effect. You need to look out for more break effect on your pieces. For the effect hit rate problem, obviously that means you also need to make sure that those pieces that come with the break effect have more effect hit rate. If you want to use the strategy of Von Wack going first to go first to implant weakness, then you have to use Von Wack, which means you have to compensate for the fact that you're losing the effect hit rate in her relics. It's just, it's, it's just that straightforward. That is, that is the way that you can build. Those are the ways that you can build Silver Wolf. And then also I would take her to level 80 so she doesn't die. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because I, I don't... I'm I'm not 100% sure, but I think level difference also affects your chance to, like, uh, apply we, apply debuffs and stuff as well. I can't remember. It might. I know it affects, like, damage and stuff like that, but it might also affect that. 
It does? Okay. So yeah, you definitely want to take her to level 80. Now, to go back around about missing, uh, again, to go over the fact of mm, missing this buff if you switch to Von Wack, remember, you are still missing 14% uh, effect hit rate in her traces. So if you replace this with Von Wack and you get the 14% in her effect hit rate, you'll actually be above where you are currently. So this is, this is what I'm talking about when I say traces are free. Traces are free stats that allow you to like curtail your relics better, right? You should always max out your traces, right? It's it's not going to hurt to have a free 12, you know, 14% effect hit rate. So, and you'll have more energy regen, correct? So she'll be able to ultimate more often, correct? In, uh, yeah. So when I get when I when I say these things, I'm not just saying like, oh, you know, fuck this or fuck that stat, you know, just 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 switch it and do better. No, there's a reason. There's a method to why I'm telling you to do these things. Is you, the solutions are here? You have to take advantage of them. If you don't take advantage of the solutions that are in front of you, then I, I, I you know, I can't help. So, all right. So that is that's Blade, Himiko, and Silverwolf. Uh, I kind of want to glance at your other characters real quick. Let's just take a look at uh, Daniel here. Again, I would recommend you... Jersey Mike's or Subway? Ooh. Uh, I prefer Subway personally, but Jersey Mike's is pretty good. So I, I would say Subway. Uh, I would I would, I would would S3 this, right? If you're going to use it, I would S3 it. This is good. This is actually perfect. See, you maxed it. See, here is what I'm saying. You maxed his traces. See, it's the same thing applies to your support characters as you got to max as your DPS characters. You got to max the traces. I, I cannot express this enough. It's the same. It's the same in almost any game. Support characters are so important. Even in Azure Lane, support characters are so important, right? You've maxed the traces on this DPS, but your support character is sitting over here missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight traces, right? Just like an Agilane, you know who the strongest characters in Agilane are? Plymouth, Vanguard, Helena, right? Because not only do they have like their own personal effects of damage, they also make the other characters that do big damage do bigger damage, right? It's the same thing here in Honkai Star Rail. Silverwolf makes your other characters do bigger damage. Ron May makes your other characters do bigger damage. So... That kind of stuff. Ooh, you have him on the imaginary set. Not the best set for him. Mostly because um, uh, getting enemies debuff is kind of a kind of difficult, and without breaking the imprison can be kind of difficult as well. You have him on slow Daniel too. Not bad. Not bad relics, though. These are actually really good. Honestly, with these relics, it might not really matter. It isn't? No, it is not. And then this... I wish I had this orb. I know it's not, like, the greatest orb, but at least it has three positive lines. Attack percent, crit, crit damage, yeah. It's good. Two-piece, two-piece. So his kit naturally gives him a shit ton of crit damage, right? So benefiting, he benefits from this extra crit damage, but he doesn't benefit from it in the context that the only way to get enemies imprisoned is for them to be broken, right? So, which will not always be the case. You will not always get this part of the benefit. And when attacking debuffed enemies, unless you're running dot characters or silver wolf or Pella or something like that with him at the same time, then we'll be debuffed. Um, so it's it can it can be difficult to proc his four piece. Now I'm not saying it's like impossible, obviously, and it's not like it's a terrible set for him. And we're talking about a difference of a few percentages, most likely. Um, but yeah, 
yeah, welt obviously would help him a lot uh, with that. So plus these pieces are really good. Like to be totally honest, these are actually really good. Like these are really good pieces. So. I hear Daniel is is Welt good. Welt is super underrated. He is so good. Welt is one of those standard characters that people like constantly fluctuate on whether or not he's super top tier or not. But honestly, I I I personally think he's one of the strongest characters in the game. Like the standard characters in in uh, in 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 Star Rail are quite quite good, quite good. Yeah, idol ones. Let's see if you have any idol, you have any idol ones for any of these characters. I didn't check your idol ones earlier, so I'm gonna check them right now. Okay. Cool. So yeah, your characters, your characters, your characters are good. That's how I would change up your Silver Wolf. Uh, if you want to work on Silver Wolf, that's how I would change her up. Uh, your Zelo looking pretty good. I assume you're working on finishing capping that out. Trace is good. She is actually one of those characters that definitely wants all of her traces because she does use her basic attack quite a bit. Um. To, like finish off a character and like get a skill point back and then you know use her enhanced buff and everything all those ones got her on the quantum set that's really good this is just all dps stats this is a good piece um three out of four really good dps stats it's a good piece this is wow okay this is fantastic crit rate crit damage break effects nice uh, attack percent boots which is fine for zila uh, but these could be slightly better. They could definitely be a little bit better. It's a low amount of crit rate, no attack percent, no break effect, no other good stack. But yeah, but this is this is really good. It was real good. Yeah. Orb, quantum with twenty nine percent crit damage. Let's go. That's super good. Super super good. Very unlikely we'll replace this anytime soon, unless you get just like a better balanced stat stat light up. Uh, this is unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah. That's not bad, but this is unfortunate. Like this is this is good. This is unfortunate. This is like your weakest piece on your Zilla, probably, is your boots and this orb. Or this rope, not the orb, the rope. In fact, the boots are probably worse than the rope, because at least the rope has crit damage and brick effect. The, this just, this little bit, of, little bit of crit rate is like whatever. But this orb is correct. So. Looks good. I set good, smart. This is nice. Okay. Yeah, not bad. All right, so those are your characters. Those are your characters, your light cones, and we went over the characters that you wanted me to potentially look at. What is your MOC you progress? Let's Forgotten look at this. Hall. Forgotten Hall. We are currently uh, 10, 11, 12. Have you cleared this? No stars, but it looks like it might have been not cleared yet in progress. Level C 11 was too hard. All right, you've cleared all of these. You haven't cleared 12. 10, you're missing with 20 stars. Well, time for me to see what I can see what I can do here real quick. Just uh, just to get a feel for your teams. Yep, I'm going to help a bit. I'm going to see, see if we can get a three star back on this one. With 
with what we got going here. Kafka. Oh my Quantum Quantum Wave 2. It was for like two or three cycles, I think. Not sure though. I didn't have Ron May at the time. Okay. And fire and ice over here. We don't have a physical person, however, we do have Pella. She built. That's the question. Are very well built, yeah. Yep, you got the wind. You got the wind set on them and everything. Yeah. Okay. Actually, let's swap that. We'll use Hoho up here, and we'll use Locha down here. Is your Asta built? Not really. Yeah. So you um, you really need to level up a meshing cogs. So I don't mind doing this for these. You really, really need a meshing cogs. You really need to, you you need meshing cogs. This is so good. You think you have one in S five? I do not see one. The one I uh, this is the only one I made that you had. I just made it. The only one you have. I just made it. <laughs> yeah. So you really need one in S five. So. Yeah, you. So with your light cones, you really need to start superimposing them. Like, you can keep one extra copy of uh, Dance, Dance, Dance. That's fine. Because it's fine at S1. But you might as well start superimposing them as well. Okay. If Asta is like this already, then I'm not going to... I don't want to I don't want to use your resources to level up her light cone at the moment. So let's just try Bronya. But Meshing Cogs is like the best light cone in in the game, for the most part, for Harmony characters. It's, it's, it's fab. You know, it's Favonius, right? Why not Tingin instead of Bronya? Actually, you know what? You're right. Let's do Tingin. We'll use Tingin here for all the energy. Yeah. Yeah, let's work. All right, let's give this a shot. <sighs> let's see what we got here. Huh. Energy. <laughs> Scare. Zone. Does that shock. You won't get away. Slow animations are slow. Oh, uh, we'll buff Kafka so she's better built at the moment. We'll also offer ultimate and we'll extra damage. Good times. No time to say bye. Let's see how this goes. I'm also gonna lower the volume just down by one more notch. Perfect. 
Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. An unknown exception. Perfect. Good times. Never time to say bye. Up. Should have saved the ultimate, probably. Hmm. They don't look happy to see <laughs> us. Burn away. Does that hurt? You won't get away. You're in trouble now. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits. Fight is gone. Good times. No time to say bye. Wow, they didn't die this time outright. That's unfortunate. Point. Probably should have just saved that skill point. Well, that works. May as well kill them all. I have something for you. Perhaps you still don't humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. An unknown exception. Not a damn, they're just getting crowd control all across the board. A thousand wonders to raise your spirit. That was just a lot of unfortunate imprisonments. That was like terrible. We're super off our skill point management at the moment. It's one break. Still don't a humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <laughs> Alright, we should be fine in terms of damage and all that stuff now because they're going to, uh... Once you get fast past the imprisonment state, we're usually you're usually fine. Cool. So that was like a three cycle. That's not bad. Four cycle. It's not bad. Let's wait. The moon shines on the tree. Repay. 
biggest problem with like this team right now, I can tell you, is Pella's a little little squish. One, she's level 70, doesn't have a lot of HP. And because of that, um, Jing Liu will not be getting her max bonus of attack and damage, right? An endless lifespan is just a bitter wait. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> What do you have Pella on for a light count? I should look at that. Eyes of Prey, okay. So let's use skill. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Nah, I'm good. I'm not a big fan of like like thigh highs. Hello, J Boy, welcome back to the stream. Uh thank you for another gift of sub. Receive divinity. Save it for your own skin. Uh, I actually put them in the wrong order, but that's okay. Alright, calm your thirst down, chat. Knee-high is fine. I'll see you off. Okay. And now for Argenti. Damn, Pella got smacked hard. That's not good. Uh, J Boy, thank you for another gifted sub in the chat. Thank you for the thighs. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Eternal. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> yeah, she dies too quick. You definitely need to fix that for sure. I agree. Have a good day at work, J Boy. No attacks coming your way, Yummy. Know, you're fine. Which is literally the only reason we are living right now. Yeah. Nope, it's over. It's Jover. It's Jover. Restart challenge. Locha, my bro. No, <laughs> that that was unfortunate. That that sucked. Um. It was Jover indeed. Yep. We'll give it another shot. We'll give it another shot. 
Oh, I can show good art and aesthetic. Really good game. I'm mixing my change with Star Wars and my Western students. Yeah. Soon to be departed. They need to nerf our identity a bit. No, they don't. He's totally fine. He's not. Explain? I don't need to. He's not. You explain. You explain to me how he is too strong. Because straight up right now, the reason the reason this is not like not working yet is because your characters are under leveled. <laughs> That's that's like literally the only reason. Straight up. Yes, only Pella is under leveled, you're correct, and that is a problem. Try harder. Okay, so remember, by her being under level, she does less damage, she takes more damage, and her buffs and her debuffs have a less chance to hit. Also, let me look at your low chart real quick. He has a very low, very low amount of attack. That is a very low amount of attack. Holy crap. I did not notice that. Sorry, but I have to go. All right, no problem. I will finish up the account review, and uh, you have to watch the vlogs then, I guess. No problem, Bill. Anytime. Played this much better this time. In flame. And another thing, like another big thing with Star Rail too, right, is that it's all about how you pilot a team, right? Like if you if you get good at piloting a team and and understanding how a fight works, you can get through a lot of like problems that you could face. Chose the wrong enemy. 
Welcome back, Sasha. Nice. I'll see you off. Eternal sleep is cool. the dead return. Actually, I should have waited on that because he's going to do the barrier. Yeah. Uh, I should have waited on that. Actually, let's do this. Let's put his barrier. There we go. There we go. Yeah. That works. And that's game. And that's game. GG! And 20 cycles. There you go. Okay. So that solves that problem. Um, Let's see. What teams did you have going on here? Oof. Hmm. So you're gonna want him down here. You're gonna want Locha up here. Lightning, lightning, lightning. Ice and fire. You really want Asta. You really, really want Asta. I can't express it enough. You really, really want Asta. Fire doesn't really work there anymore. You don't have welts. So technically, you could bring. Daniel, it'd be that's gonna be awkward. Then again, these are really skill positive characters, so it could, should be fine. And then, yeah, you want you want Pella for this. Those defense down the wave two. Damn, this is this is a hard floor. I'm gonna give this one a shot. I'm not confident. I'm really not confident about it though. This is not. Uh, this is not gonna. I don't think it's gonna go very well. Let's give it a shot. Let's wait. Cause you don't have Asta. Yes and no. Um, so she is a really good breaker, um, and she just pairs well with like Kafka teams and other teams that would just require speed. She's and gives a shit ton of attack, which makes up for sometimes when you don't have all the attack in your relics. Right, as an example. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits. Um, I'm actually gonna give this to Inviter. I'm gonna give this to Kafka. Awaken Thorin Scales. World cleansing dragon. I'm gonna do this now. Your imbiber is not E D2. I gotta remember that. Your imbiber is not like mine. I gotta I gotta I gotta free to play my brain here. Or I gotta not uh not whale my brain here. Okay, he will cleanse that. That's good. You chose the wrong skill. You can, skill. you can do a double skill. Yeah, you can do a double skill. Let's get a break in. That's what we want. We want as many breaks as possible to go with the... Uh, uh, okay. I'll see you off. Get a break. Eternal sleep. Once she hits again, she will hopefully proc his heal. Give us more. Good times. Never this. Time to say bye. But I would say yes, Asa is generally that good, just on a general level, anyways. We use one skill point. Break. 
I'm gonna put out how key Kafka is here. And here's the other thing, Kafka also can, or Asta can also apply dots and things along those lines. Um, in this case, you'd probably want like Luca instead for some of this. Hello, Boogie. Oh, this is perfect. Welcome to the stream, Boogie. Welcome to the chat. We need to cleanse coffee. Thanks. You're too good to me. Eternal Perfect. sleep is not a dead return. I will probably still be here in an hour. Good times never last. Time to say Talk this again. Do it this way. Damn. Locher trying to heal himself. That is the times are changed. unfortunate. This is God. I hate this bot. I hate this enemy. This enemy type is so annoying. Yeah, we may need to be running like a double defense, a duo defense here. Yeah. No, I'm not even. Nope. Nope. I can already tell that this is not going to go well for uh, for us. Bobber doesn't do much for us there, so instead, you do not have a secondary. You do have Blazer. Solar Wolf also could work for more defense down. If we're trying to go for a solid, just just that team. We'll give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let us give it a shot. Hmm. Let's win. What could it hurt? Cool. I've already established that Star Rail reviews are definitely going to be longer because I'm going to be testing things out as well. Repay. Giving things a shot. I forgot to ting in buff first. Hello. <laughs> So another thing when you're building, so for those watching right now, when you're building Locha, yes, you want a lot of attack on him, but you still also want a lot of HP just so he can survive, right? Some HP and defensive stats. More enemies. So they already have the weakness, so we're just trying to uh, plant reduction some stuff. In fact, I could have just applied Quantum. I just realized that I should have applied Quantum. Damn. Thanks for the advice on Discord, no problem. Eternal dead Cut limit. Can I have fun? Time for a plan. <laughs> Stand still. May as well kill them all. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. You took the bait. This combat needs up. This is double speed. Let's raise. Relax. That shit is so ridiculous, he's dead. Yep. Oh, return. Alright. Yeah. How was your Hanya built? Not at all. Okay. Speed. It really a lot of it too is getting more turns. So here's the thing with MOC, right? Is you if when you're trying, especially when you're trying to clear the later floors, like the the, the most highest difficulty, is you need speed on your characters, right? 
If your characters are not going multiple times around, you know, at least two turn two times in the first their first round of combat, then you're falling behind majorly in terms of uh like output. Like it just is it just doesn't work. Um I'm gonna try a different team here. I'm going to try the uh the Daniel, just the straight Daniel team. One more shot may end up needing to have to do like a two defensive character for this because I just don't think the characters are strong enough without it. <laughs> cool it. Let's wait. What a case of God's song. Hey. We're in a thousand wonders. <laughs> Fight is <it's> gone. <laughs> Awaken Thorman Scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Nothing major. Inevitable. Lend me your strength. I sense a storm. Heaven's search. Rise. Not bad on the damage. Let's be friends. Now, let's settle this. not fret. Repay. Yeah, we need that cleanse. We need that cleanse. Receive divinity. Better late than never. So, I do not want him to. Energy. Get the energy out. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. This and he should, you know, it's no skill points for it. Should also give him enough energy for his ultimate. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Awesome. We just gotta deal with this guy. We gotta go to in like a recovery state here, basically. So this is pretty good, actually. Start with this. We're in a pretty solid and safe state at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Damn. What the? Bro! 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 Okay. That was that was that was the worst set of RNG possible. We were in a great spot and the game was just like bam, 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 bam. Just absolutely destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. That was terrible. That was fucking terrible. Holy shit. Cannot believe that shit. Absolutely terrible. Wow. That's a match. A match. I'm actually match now. A match. All right. We done. We done. All right. Give it a couple of shots. Um, and honestly, if I had to say, so for Bill, when you're watching this later, 
if I had to be honest with you, your best bet probably is the is the Daniel team. Um, but your your characters need to be level eighty for this content. And this, if I remember quickly, this actually does not work with Locha's auto skill. So you have to actually use the skill for this to actually work. So this is actually not good on him. If I remember correctly. So that's the first off thing. Like, unfortunately, it's a great light cone if you're actually using the skill. Uh, well, if you're not using the skill, it's actually not that great on him. So, um... And I think this is the same case here with this one. And uh, effect res one would probably be better because then he won't get crowd controlled, right? Yeah, it doesn't. I didn't think so. Yeah, yeah, it does. So this does not actually work with his with his auto skill. It works if you use his regular skill, but it does not work with his auto skill, which is unfortunate because it would easily probably be his best piece. Um, is little Goy uh, good for Ho Ho? Um, uh, yeah, because she actually uses her skill. So yeah, I would say it's fine for Ho Ho. Um, I would use this bill in the future uh, because you want more effect res because Locha should not be getting crowd controlled at all, frankly. Once you get 30% effect res, he basically just shouldn't shouldn't care about any of that crap. So you want way more. You want at least 3,000, 3,500 attack on him. And you need about 1,000 defense. Like 1,000 defense is generally what you want on most of your characters. So that way they don't get like just straight out one shot, basically. And then levels. Levels. That's all I can say. Bronia, Tingyan, levels. Pella, levels. Your Kafka is really good, but you don't have anything to support her. That's like your biggest... I want to say that's like your biggest problem. Is one of your best characters has no support. None whatsoever. Uh, you don't have Luka leveled up. You don't have... You didn't get Gwen Ifen. You don't have Sampo leveled up. And you don't have Asta leveled. Like, you don't, you're not using Asta currently. So none of the supports for Kafka are here for her to do more dot damage. Like, Hanya would work as well. Hanya would actually be great, I think, with uh, with Kafka because of the extra skill point uh, points that she would bring. Right? And especially on this these bosses, since they all have physical all physical weakness, a, um, uh, a Luka, Hanya, you know, speedy... Uh, speedy team like this team would probably do pretty well. You know, get the extra physical breaks. You just build break effect on him. You build speed on Hanya. She gives like this. They're work well together because of that. You give me a good team for Kafka. Didn't I help you enough already, Nana? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, when I get back to my account, I I can I can go over it a little bit more. But Hanya is so the reason Hanya is good for for. Kafka is her ultimate, giving Kafka more speed and more attack, right? Which is what Kafka wants. She wants more speed, more attack, and more skill points. So, so in fact, honestly, the more I think about it, like the more I'm like sitting here really thinking about it, I'm like, actually, Hanya may be Kafka's best support because Hanya gives Kafka more speed. Kafka gives Kafka more speed, if you have her light cone. And then, like... She hits to get more skill points, to get more dot damage, to get more breaks. So yeah. Like if I was building a Hanya, I would probably build her for speed, break effect, and attack percent, right? Because that's... it's Speed is of Hanya speed, and it's just a general attack percent buff. Are today's records different from yesterday's? Probably. Very different. When Hanya's ultimate effect defeats an enemy, I wonder if the dots from Kafka is considered defeating an enemy, because that would also then advance her for it. I think they're actually a pretty good pair, the more I look at this. So, and then if you have, like, a break effect Luka, you know, for the huge big dots and bleeds, like, I feel like this... I feel like this would work really well. Her traces are not leveled, so I can't really test it. I mean, I'll have to, they don't have to test it on, a, on my main account or a different account or something. But, this is... This is, this is, this is what you're looking at, so... Either that or a Daniel team. I couldn't test this team out, obviously, because I couldn't get past it, so I'm not really sure. But yeah, I think I think Hanya, generally speaking, will be your uh, will be a best one of your best supports for you, Luca and Hanya, because physical is coming up a lot more recently. So um, we basically did his dailies for him. 
Was he capped? No. And then let me go ahead and check out his simulated universe real quick. Index. Oh, Let's see where he is in the simulated universe. World 8's clear. World 7 clear. World 6 clear. World 5 clear. World 4 clear. And then World 3, yes. And World 3. Good. Okay. No problems on the clearing of simulated universe. Cool. Uh, swarm disaster. Has, in fact, completed the commuting trail and everything, I think. No, it's still working on, it's still working on the community trail. Okay. Frazilia is Bronya or Tingin a better partner? Both. Hypercarry. Both. But Bronya generally will be, uh, uh, you'll probably find more benefit out of Bronya. Though Tingin is, is really, really good too. Has cleared the difficulty five, but has not, uh, finished unlocking all of the, the things. Okay. And then gold and gears. Uh, has been doing it and is already quite high on the extrapolations. Yeah, cool. Okay. Looks good. Looks real good. And I think with that in mind, that's probably going to be the end of this. Is totally caught up on the story. In fact, has done every quest for the most part. At least ones that he was accepted. And yeah. So that's that is that is the end of Bills and Hemp. I don't think there's anything else I really need to look at at this point. Uh, I think that's gonna be it's gonna be it for this this account review. It was about we did it was definitely like like an hour and a half, right? So it wasn't it wasn't as long as what, what I did with Nana's, but uh, I have I have a little bit better understanding of what I was doing this time. So or what I want to look at, and if I miss anything, I can always come. I can always you know we'll correct it in the next one. So again, this was only the second HSR account review that I've done. And my goal is to do more of these and uh, start putting them out. They're going to be a little bit more of an editing process, but it, it'll be fine. I think, I think they're going to do real well. So if you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more of it and you possibly want to get your Honkai Star Rail account reviewed, uh, then come on over to twitch.tv slash Live, where I will be doing these more often than not uh, as I go through. And they are a... Uh, kind of a request basis at the moment. Uh, I reached out to the first person, the second person has reached out to me. Uh, so we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, so um, for on the YouTube side, please leave a like, a comment, maybe consider subscribing if you wanna see more of this and I'll keep on trucking. I'll see you guys next time, later.